Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you how to add server sent events to Django. This is what it will look like. The final product, instead of having your front end pull the back end and ask, is a particular piece of data ready? You have the back end just send a request when the particular piece of data is ready. OK, great. Let's get going. Go down and we'll get our do our setup, paste, and you can see installing Django. And then you'll see, as usual, sim the app pop up here. Core sim. Go to core settings. Daphne needs to be at the top. Hook into Django and then sim you can add anywhere. Add this ASGI application to anywhere in your settings file. OK, now section two, we're going to add this to our views. So let's copy that. Views, sim, paste in. The way this will work is that we'll render a page here with index. And then this is our stream that we're going to be sending from the server to the front end constantly there with a random emoji and then a account. So really simple, but we'll demonstrate how server sent events work. Section three, we're just going to add the URLs. Create the URLs here for sim URLs.py. Paste that in. Update the core URLs here as usual. Paste that in. Section four, we're going to create our template, which we will get the event stream from the back end to get our server sent event. So copy this and then go into sim, create a folder called templates, create a file called index.html, paste this in. So the way this works is we'll set up an event source here at this URL, which goes here to this URL to our stream. It's like setting up a connection to the server. And then whenever it receives a message in the future, it will then update our inner HTML at this ID here, SSC data, and add the data from the event, which we received from the server, uh, a, a break. So let's go and run the app, Python manage.py run server, run it here. And you can see using starting Daphne, which would be different. And there it is. And now if we click start, zero, one, two, three. Perfect. And so this is not, this is the receiving things from the server. As you can see, it's really easy and quick to do beyond just a random emoji, actually listening to a particular data, maybe listening to your database. And then whenever a user does something, then you can send something to the front end. And I'll probably show that in a future guide. My mailing list for my product, which allows you to build Django front end even faster, is in the description below. Besides that, I'm producing loads of Django content. Here are a few more videos.